Weather-wise today, I mean, you could have been out there doing whatever you wanted to do because we had tons of sunshine. We didn't have too much heat. Right now, 69 degrees here in the metro area. And the last thing, we didn't have much humidity either. See that dew point in the 50s? That's a nice place to be in Iowa this time of the year because we don't have it too often. And once you get above 60, you start to feel a little bit of humidity. Once you get above 70 degrees on the dew point, it's tropical. And guess where we're going to be here soon? Back into the 70s for those dew point numbers. So the muggy air will return. Rainfall is going to return as well. Now we could have, like we mentioned earlier, a couple of showers, maybe a storm or two during the day tomorrow on your Monday. Better chance of storms comes late tomorrow night and into Tuesday morning. That'll be the first round of probably more widespread rainfall. The second round will be some storms towards Tuesday evening. Those would be the main ones we'll be looking at for the potential for severe weather over the first half of this week. So that Tuesday severe weather risk is right here in this level one area that's colored yellow. Basically, basically everybody, except you know, unless you're up towards places like Algona, Emmitsburg, Estherville, and over towards Mason City. Rest of us are in play during the afternoon and evening hours. Severe wind, large hail. There is a tornado threat too. A couple more things need to look a little bit more favorable for tornadoes than they do right now, but it, the potential is there that we're keeping an eye on a couple of days in advance. Now, as we head through the rest of tonight, hour by hour, we are going to slowly get rid of our clear skies and bring in some clouds from the west. That's the first signs of the moisture moving our direction. There will be some storms out towards Nebraska. Watch as those come in after daybreak tomorrow and they mostly fizzle. Maybe a few scattered showers and an isolated rumble of thunder lasts into the daytime hours tomorrow on your Monday. Once we head towards the afternoon, we're probably looking at another day of highs, probably in the 70s, a few 60s too, if we get some thicker clouds to set up and get locked in place during the day, but definitely not hot just yet. Maybe just a little bit more humid. Then the humidity really starts to pump in aloft as we head towards late tomorrow night. That's going to foster more storms, another complex of storms, more widespread storms out in Nebraska later tomorrow evening. Now here's 10 o'clock Monday. This is when about 24 hours from now storms will move into especially western and northwest Iowa and overspread basically the northern half of the state into the morning hours of Tuesday. So you might be awakened here. This is 4 a.m. Roughly we're looking at probably some storms, loud rumbles of thunder, probably some heavy downpours. Then that round of storms ends once we go past daybreak. That's round one of more widespread rain. Probably a little bit of a lull in the action here during the day Tuesday and then once we get towards the afternoon and evening hours, we're going to be watching probably two potential zones for redevelopment on Tuesday evening. One's going to be wherever we maybe leave a boundary behind from the morning storms. In this simulation, it'd be kind of like right here. And then the second area of focus we'll watch is along an advancing cold front that's slowly working in the state Tuesday evening. So these storms could potentially be severe across much of central, southern, and eastern Iowa into the first part of Tuesday night. So that's something to keep an eye on. And then through the whole week, we're going to add more water into the system again here too. We're still trying to get some of those rivers to go down. Well, we're going to add a widespread one to three inches. And when, of course, you're talking about storms, you're getting a lot of more variation. We could have some higher numbers than that potentially too. But there is going to be definitely some possibilities for heavy rain in the coming days. Eight day forecast has those rainfall chances, especially tomorrow night and Tuesday. And then again on Thursday, that's the fourth itself. Wednesday looks dry though. Friday will have we kind of on the back side of a system, so a little bit of breezy winds, maybe still a stray shower too. Temperature wise, we probably won't get to 90. Best chance of that would be Southern Iowa on Tuesday. Otherwise, a lot of 80s all the way through the weekend into the weekend.